Thank you. Thanks for, uh, it's always nice to have the applause uh, die down before I hit the microphone. Thank you. Appreciate that. Just like, all right, let's see what he has right now. I am, let me tell you where I've been eating all week because of the E. coli breakout. Just to time stamp this act, Taco Bell. I go there because I figure the chances of me now, they're going crazy over there with, uh, oh, we'll take care of it. I love the restaurant for three reasons. One, I feel wealthy when I order food in that restaurant. I don't know how they do it, but I feel like very like Bill Gates. Two, I love their dining room. It is rather elegant. And three, they are the most creative of all the fast food restaurants because they make basically three items and then they kind of crossbreed, hybrid, mutate. Like the double decker, that's just a single hard shell taco wrapped by a soft tortilla. But here's the genius. In between, they put in refried beans that act as an adhesive. Like a gasket. Because I love fast food, although there's one food I won't eat. Even I won't eat. Hot dog at a movie theater. Because I feel like there's no USDA preparation guidelines for this meat. When I was a kid, they used to be impaled on spears, rotating inside a Timex case. Suddenly that's gone, replaced by the metallic foot massage log roll jamboree. And they never look like they're cooking. They just look like they're sweating. It's like, get it a towel. Just towel it off. Towel it off is a tag for me in comedy. Uh, I um, grew up in Florida. It's tough growing up there. All my friends were retired. Okay, it's a classic. That's out of the vault. That's out of the Fetterman vault. <laughs> it's good. It's just, I hope it plays on uh, the cell phone properly. Uh, my name is Wayne. I liked the name Wayne until the fourth grade when my teacher's like, Wayne, you know, that's also a word. I go, I didn't know that. She goes, yeah, it's a verb. It means to diminish slowly over time. Really? She goes, yeah, even now you're a little bit less than you were when I first started telling you about your name. I'm sorry, no, keep talking. It's a good time to just start chatting. It's a good time. It's good. No, I'm telling you, I'm not that entertaining, so I agree with you in a weird way. Like, yeah, maybe a conversation would be good at this point. That's my heckling stopper right there. That's a, that's the, so, um, Growing up in Florida, I learned how to drive when I was 15 by the two worst drivers in the state, the Fettermans, my mom and my dad. My, they were complete opposite. My dad, very intrepid behind the wheel, would never slow, never speed limit was like a suggestion for him. Never grab the wheel, would just guide it with one finger like this, turn with his heel of his hand and then wax on, wax off then. My mom, completely the opposite, very, nervous, two hands always on the wheel, would turn like this. I don't know if you've ever seen anyone do that. <laughs> we'll say, uh, never was in a car accident, my mom. Caused hundreds of them to this day. <laughs> has no idea. Has no idea. Behind her, the carnage that was just horrible. <laughs> the one thing they never taught me about, the instrument panel dimmer switch. Why do we have that? Why was that invented? Are people's eyes too sensitive for the five watt bulb behind the speedometer? Are people like, oh, those oncoming headlights are fine, but this odometer light is burning my retina. Is there any way I could possibly, oh, oh, that's night, or the wheel, you can turn it down. I don't know if you know this, if you go all the way, it goes off. That's how I want to drive at night, just using the force. You have no idea. You get pulled over, how fast were you going? I don't know how much gas I have in this car, officer. You were behind me, how fast was I going? So, uh, I have been uh, working out a little bit. Hey, look over there. Okay, uh, I've been working out a little bit. I'm just kidding. I'm very, I'm still in the Fetterman Brady thing. Uh, still in my head a little bit. 
No, I am the worst sign of the zodiac, the cancer sign. Yeah, cancer. There's nothing on the zodiac wheel close to the most dreaded disease known to mankind. <laughs> So uh, for my birthday last year, and by last year I mean 1992 when I wrote this, I got this... <laughs> I got the book of questions. I thought it was a trivia book. I had no idea. I was like, Jay Silverheels, I open it up. Would you give up the use of all of your limbs and the ability to urinate so the people of Chad could eat for a year? Who the hell gave me this? What is this? I look in the back for the answer. Guess what? There are no answers. This is a book of unanswerable questions. Give me the book of answers. That's something I could use. The chicken came first. The glass is half empty. Thank you. Of course it makes noise. It's a tree. The woodchuck would chuck one and a half cords of wood per hour. It's good. It's a good book. Thank you. Well, believe it or not, my time with you is coming to a close. So I just... No, it's been fun. It's been fun. But let's not... I don't want to overstay my welcome. One of my classic mistakes in social situations. So I will... I do it all the time. So I will uh, leave you with this. I have a website if you want to visit me. It's not fancy, it's not schmancy. It's very simple, but it's new when I just got it. So I'd like to share it with you now, please. www.childpredator.gov <laughs> slash Wayne Fetterman dot Boy Scout. One more Boy Scout. Now you go there, you're not, it's not that impressive. There's just one shot like this, and then me looking over here. Um, here's the cool thing, though. I don't know how they do this. There's an overhead shot of my neighborhood. And where my house is, a star. I don't want to brag. I, don't, I know it sounds conceited, but that's the way they built the site. By the way, I'm still available. I think that does deserve that long a laugh. Uh, I, I'm still available for any bookings anywhere in the country, with the exception of within 50 yards of a middle school or those laser tag places. For some reason, the judge thought that was a bad idea.